Hello and welcome to Stu Stuck at Home. And let me tell you, he's really stuck at home. Um, I've tried to sleep, but my brain is ticking. So I've just had to come down and make a small video um, because I can't help. My heart's going and my brain's ticking. I've had so many lovely messages today from people. And it's not over the veggie bake thing. It's over my rant. And that goes right the way down to choose Woodbridge, ex mares and all the rest of it. it, it it's endless. And, um, and obviously I, I don't personally look at any um, uh, Facebook comments, but I do get some feedback from people that run those platforms for me. And because uh, I don't do social media myself. Um, wowzers. Uh, it's really great that everyone cares so much and they're all with me. I mean, there is one Lone Ranger, but <laughs> we need, you know, you need a Lone Ranger, don't you? Let's face it, to, to make the majority look so much um, more colourful, I suppose. And... Um, I think uh, it's it's all kind of heading in the right direction. I've had landlords text me saying, well, of course you don't charge full rent during a pandemic. But what you've got to understand, Stuart, is that not all landlords are wealthy. And I totally agree. Yes, in Woodbridge, you tend to think they are. And, you know, in hindsight, they're not. So there are some landlords out there who also need their money. And the people working uh, perhaps within as the tenant, uh, obviously are getting money in from government help of course they are but this government help of course is wonderful and we're very grateful um as operators uh the only thing is it actually isn't really doesn't really touch the science if you like so so i think it's really a rich tapestry and uh, a tapestry really means everything's sewn together and if everything's sewn together guess what you work together and if the government doing that and their landlords do this. Uh, everything will slowly rebuild. And I kind of feel slightly relieved with some of the messages I'm getting from wonderful landlords. Some I've known for a long time. And I, when I had, did my rant, I had no landlords in question. There weren't any personal vendettas to any landlords. I love all sorts of people in the town. It was really just a nudge to those who perhaps don't see the world's changed. And I, I think that's not only to landlords, it's to customers too. The world has changed. Hence the reason uh, I've got a new business, if you like, that I've collaborated with um, on the left-hand side of the theatre called A-Listers. And um, that's because it's much more agile. It can open, it can close. It works much better. It can work outside better. You know, there's a reason for that. You know, these uh, I would have never given up my business in my entire life. I wanted to stand by the door greeting people in until I was 85, 90 years old. I would never have stopped it. It's it's basically the world's changed and uh, I've had to adjust with it. Customers have to, landlords have to, everyone has to. And I think people are realising this now. Uh, really, uh, and it's, it's, it's lovely to see and lovely to have some wonderful messages of, of support on that front just for the town, I think. Really, really quite spectacular. Um, uh, a list is, is very agile. It can open and close, open and close. And those things are important right now because I don't think this is the last lockdown. So the last lockdown, when will it be? Well, I would predict possibly the last lockdown will be in November, or maybe we're just going through the last lockdown. Who knows? But let me tell you, it's not easy running businesses with the door shut. So it's great that people are supporting and uh, businesses and it's great that landlords are realizing and uh, forget lone rangers because obviously there's the odd one out there but <laughs> I don't mean to say that rudely don't forget it's lovely to hear uh, views from the minority of course it is um, but um, best foot forward as my old friend Henry used to say <laughs> I don't know where that came from best foot forward it's probably a Churchill saying but he was a lovely old friend of mine Henry, which was his name, best foot forward, and it's a great life as long as you don't weaken. That was his saying. I've never forgotten it. Always use it. And that's it from me. Stu Stuck at home. About to go back to bed. Ciao for now.